Right, thank you for joining The Average Golfer. I'm down here at Four Golf, and uh, we ain't going on the golf course today. We're staying in here and we're collecting data because I think this is all about data, really, because what we're going to do is we're going to test the one-length irons from Cobra again, but their head will be the Forge Tech. So, one, I haven't reviewed nor tried the Forge Tech iron at all as yet, so it'll be interesting to see how this thing performs. It certainly looks very nice. But I'm going to do the test in a one length shaft and the reason is quite simple. I have been, I suppose, negative towards them in the past due to my uh, inability to overcome the kind of logic behind it all. So when I stand with a longer shaft in a 9-iron, I struggle and when I stand in a short, with a shorter shaft in a 5-iron, I struggle. So it's a mental issue. I'm going to try and wipe that slate clean this morning. I'm going to collect some data and see how much logic there is in using a one length shaft in these new Forge Tech irons. I'm as interested to find out as you probably are. Well, my thoughts on this are really, really simple. Is uh, the theory and the logic is that the one length shaft means you've got a uh, you've uh, in time, at least anyway, maybe from my perspective, you get very used to be standing in exactly that same position over the ball distance from head uh, to shaft remains constant. Your swing plane should in theory be able to perhaps get a little bit more consistent. So understand all that, it's overcoming those uh, other issues that I mentioned earlier. But first of all, I want to know from you, have you either got one length irons in the bag and how do you find them? If you've not got them, what's your experience? Have you tried them? Uh, have you got any positive or negativity towards them? So comments down below from you. I, again, I don't know how popular this sort of one length shaft option is in terms of general sales for uh, Cobra. So your feedback, very much welcomed. Uh, in terms of the Forge Tech itself, stunning looking sort of um, iron, minimal in its markings. Again, bit of shiny chrome, does all them things that I like, bit of tungsten weighting in there. Uh, very got much similarities to the likes of the uh, the P790 in terms of that uh, hollow body. Um, so we'll be interested to see how. But it's a forged again in theory forged club. But I'll tell you how that feels very shortly. We'll start off by it in the nine iron. And again, yeah, I'm afraid to say it feels a little bit weird having that longer shaft. Um, but I'm sure if the results are right, we can overcome that. The first ball off the sort of club face. I say first ball, I've obviously had a few to warm up. I'd be telling lies if I said otherwise. The one thing I've noticed about the face is it's kind of, again, I mentioned the similarities to the P790. These forged, so called forged irons, are not quite, are they? Um, so it's a little bit, a little bit clicky. See if, um, if I hit one more where you can hear that. Certainly was more so on that second shot. It's a little bit clicky, is what I would say in terms of the noise that it makes off the face and it's a long way short of let's say a Strixon or a Mizuno fully forged iron but that's probably um, you know pretty obvious on what you'd expect. Um, in terms of top line and bulk and mass and all those other things again very nice on the top line not too heavy at all uh, and like I said overall decent looking club but I'm going to switch up 
uh, and get out of that nine iron and we're going to go into the five iron because as i said don't forget this shaft length is what you would find in the seven iron so that's where you'd expect numbers to be pretty normal as you'd expect but my fear is this when you go into the five iron if you're using the same length shaft so if you're using a shorter shaft than what is a traditional five iron how is the yardage not going to drop off because we all know one of the things that impacts on distance is, is length of shaft um, so yeah i don't get that and that's the bit that's got me baffled but again well it's some balls let me just give you my opinion this is where again in that head that little small mind of mine all of a sudden you feel like you've got and all we've done is changed heads you feel as though you've got a shorter club because for whatever reason for years and years you understand what the length of a five iron shaft is and all of a sudden it looks shorter and it's a complete it's ridiculous it's ridiculous to think that your mind could be swayed that easy but that's how it feels oh that's a nice shot though right out the sweet spot that one and um it's definitely a little bit softer sounding from the middle as well so certainly uh yeah that criticism i give that tingy feeling it's there it's not the greatest feeling or the softest feeling but that was nice i'm gonna carry on collecting some data and i'm gonna have a look at two things that were interested in this video is one what the numbers are like but i think also what dispersion is like and what my consistency is like with this hitting of this same length shaft throughout the set let me carry on I just want to give some quick feedback after hitting some balls and I've, I've collected data but I'm not going to give that one away just yet but what I will say is that I have noticed in terms of <clears throat> the more shots I hit the more I got comfortable like I said and overcome that uh, silly idea that I'm not used to it so therefore I can kind of uh, you know I, I can't accept it and I got I did get more used to it it's still something that I would have to overcome but I think this idea that you've got this um, the shorter sh oh, standard shaft which would therefore produce a more repeatable swing there's very much a lot of logic to that and i uh, i was i was consistent with it i think that like i said when we get into the numbers i was consistent with it just going back because like i said it's like a double whammy this is kind of one length review but also the idea of what do i think of these forge tech um Feelings haven't changed with that. I think that they're they're an okay looking iron. They look, you know, I'm I'm, I'm okay with them. They're not jumping out of the shelf uh, for me, but they're okay looking iron. Um, they performed, as I said, in terms of feeling, a little bit clicky. But I'd only describe that in the same way that a, a P790 performs. Like I said, that hollow body for me is still always recognisable. So I certainly wouldn't confuse with this with a forged iron. And like I said, just to balance that, I wouldn't class a P790 in that way either. Um, but overall, performed really well. And I think all we can do is uh, get in and have a look at some numbers and see, did the consistency of the one length really help this average golfer? Right, so the title of the video was One Length Irons Don't Work. And I can't speak for everybody, but I know that for me on a personal level, they just simply don't. And... I can't really get my head round as to exactly how this whole thing works. It's down to that length of shaft and it's down to the gapping of the clubs. Now, the people that own these clubs, I'm sure you're happy with that. I'm sure you've been custom fit and you've managed to work these yardages out. But if you look at the data, I'm going to start off with what I achieved with a 9-iron, which was an average carry of 145. All the numbers in terms of launch angle, spin numbers... The performance of this club head was fantastic. No complaints whatsoever. And like I said, 145 carry with those other numbers, launch numbers, descent angles, then it's fantastic. But then throw in the seven iron numbers and you'll see from the seven iron, it's a 163 carry. All again across the board, optimal numbers, that spin number's incredible. In its own right, that head, very, very good. Finally, the five iron number, 176 carry again hitting spin numbers launch angles all them things are fantastic so i think you're already probably guessing as to where the issue lies and if you haven't well it's between your gapping is a major issue because if i look at my gap between nine iron and seven iron we're bordering on what is it 15 18 yards difference as it stands now i put an eight iron in there i'm expecting my eight iron to be 20 10 or 12 yards longer than what my nine iron would be so all of a sudden i'm in sort of 155 157 territory for an eight iron carry 
So where does that leave you? Seven iron. There's just no point in having it. You've got an eight yard gap at best. And then even more of an issue becomes when you go from seven iron into six iron into five iron because that gap gets even tighter. And I said at the beginning, or at least I think I did when we were back at four golf, I never understand how a shorter shaft in a five iron, how can you possibly be producing the distances that you should? Because we know that one of the things that plays the part, only one of them, is length of shaft. And if it's shorter than what would normally be in a five iron, then you would assume you get shorter numbers. And I think that's what's happened. It's 176 carry that you're seeing from the numbers, which again, not a problem in its own right. But then where do you fit between a 163 carry with a seven iron, 176 into your five iron, there is no room whatsoever for a six iron to come into that bag. So I ain't gonna go on too much because like I said, it, it, it's as simple as that really. If you were looking at reviewing this um, Forge Tech head, then I'd say really good numbers, optimal numbers in, in, in the three irons that I hit, but the major problem is how do you possibly gap those differences in between so you know i mean there's almost an argument there you, you know you're, you're nine seven and five iron you're going back to half a set because i can't see where you would find uh, irons to fit in between those gaps it's always been the issue in terms of a mental issue first and foremost for me in terms of overcoming that kind of shallow attitude towards being able to hold a short uh, a longer shaft in an iron iron a longer shaft in a five iron i do find that alien that's something that i had to get i would have to get over anyway but then when you look at the numbers there's nothing to persuade me well it's a major issue the actual uh, um you sort of your, your the, the ability for you to reproduce that swing plane more consistently with one less one length shaft i totally get totally understand and that makes sense but it doesn't then translate into numbers and surely that's got to be a major issue i said at the beginning of the clip that that's what i found it doesn't necessarily mean that's what you did so again if you've been fitted for one length and it's worked then absolutely fantastic it's not, I'm not saying it wouldn't work for everybody, but I can only go on the numbers that I achieved and certainly for me, that would throw up some issues. So as ever, if you find different to me, that's absolutely fine. Stick it in the comments box down below and you can give some indications to your fellow golfers as to why my information mightn't be quite the same as what yours is and still encourage them to give one length irons a go. Anyway, that's it, we're done. We've got, I think this uh, this should go out, this is Monday evening. We've got one more video before uh, Christmas and it's gonna be a big one and it's gonna be, in, it's gonna include a massive giveaway. So uh, make sure you're sticking around for the next few days and keep an eye out for that one. As ever, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you all soon.